How do you talk how to get away with murder without giving away all the details? Now, this episode had pretty much nothing to do with law school and wrapping up the stories from season one and then starting a brand new problem for season two. And I absolutely loved it. Our main cast was great with their acting. It was so awesome to seeing them all together. I have to say that final scene of the episode when they're at this rave with Viola Davis and the Keating Four, Asher isn't there because he has his own problems. and. Oh God, I love that scene so much. And then the final, final cliffhanger scene where we see um, Annalise and she's shot, which is wild. And it looks like Wes is the one who shot her, but we don't know that for sure, which we're gonna find out in the next 14 episodes. So absolutely love the ending. Sorry for spoiling it right away, but it was a fantastic uh, lead up to it. I really like the relationship between Michaela and Laurel in this episode. I don't really like Michaela at all. And she also texted eggs or the number that was two eggs uh, in this episode and it looks like she's going to be, get, be getting caught for that very soon which is uh, interesting because I can't wait to kind of see her her fall from grace in another way. She also had a really interesting moment where she's at a bar and she hits on a guy and he tells her he's gay and she's just like go away go away I'm not dealing with this. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, with Connor he resolved his issues with Oliver or he pretty much told Oliver I'm in uh, the, in with you for the long haul, which is really nice that uh, Connor doesn't want to give up his relationship with Oliver to the point that he actually moved in with Oliver, which is really, really nice. I like that. I like how Connor's going from being pretty much the Ice King to being someone who really cares. He didn't do too, too much else beyond that. And then Asher did absolutely nothing. He's very anxious around with being around Bonnie because he's afraid he's going to tell her something that could uh, mess their relationship up. And I have to say, I think they're a really cute couple, so I really like them together too. So I do hope that they're able to somehow reconcile the relationship and keep it going forward. Now, speaking of Bonnie, big spoiler for the person who killed Rebecca, it was Bonnie and Frank was going nuts, thinking it was Laurel, thinking it was Wes. And Annalise did not think it was Wes because Annalise has this really weird thing for Wes. And at the end of the episode, she said, even your lover could kill you. And then we see Wes. So I'm thinking Annalise and Wes are going to be hooking up. And that was definitely apparent in that uh, uh, rave scene, which was pretty cool. Like I have to say, I wish my law professor would take me to a rave with a bunch of my classmates. That would be really cool. Um, anyway, so yes, Bonnie killed Rebecca. The scene where Rebecca died was pretty intense. Bonnie puts a bag over Rebecca's head. Uh, Rebecca's head and gags her with a piece of scotch duct tape and Rebecca suffocates to death and it's pretty sad actually and so that's kind of uh, what happened with the season one uh, murder it's completely wrapped up but now dealing with Nate's problem with that Annalise brought in her new friend or technically her old friend and lesbian lover might I add from Harvard University which is where Annalise got her degree from and she is representing Nate. I love the actress that is um, playing uh, Annalise's uh, old partner and uh, law and lawyer friend. I think that she's really good. Her she did a really good performance in this episode. She seems like she's really powerful of an actress, and just her the way she delivered her lines was quite uh, quite nice. Then I have to say, beyond that, the episode was just really great. Very fast paced. If you hadn't seen season one, you're gonna have no clue what's going on with this, of course. But I absolutely love the way this episode flew or flowed. It was really, really great. All the storylines, like I said, were beautiful and we have the new mystery of what's going to be happening with another murder with possibly Annalise dying or at least getting really hurt. I don't think she's gonna die unless the show ends at the end of the season, which I really hope it doesn't. Oh, and also we're dealing with another murder at the same time that because Annalise, she hasn't had any new clients and she took on this, um, these, twi these siblings, excuse me, that are adopted and their parents are killed and their aunt got killed and then it looks like um, that'll be going on for quite a while in the season, at least until the mid-season finale in December. So either way, I thought this episode was fantastic. I absolutely loved the premiere, uh, and I can't wait to see the second episode. I'll do a review of the trailer for that in a few minutes. But either way, let me know in the comments below if you saw this episode and what you thought about it, or what you thought about season one if you want to. So thank you all for checking out my review of the How to Get Away with Murder season two premiere. It was awesome, and I hope you all enjoyed my review, and I hope to talk to you about it in the comments below. Bye, guys.